What is up, beautiful people? Let's do a day in the life with me vlog style video because I've missed vlogging and I'm going to go to the beach today. I showered, I did my skincare, I had avocado toast for breakfast, and I just filmed a reading for my Virgo channel on YouTube, another Virgo channel. Let me show you the setup. We have the ring light right there. It's usually on. Those are the cards we used. That's a black obsidian scrying mirror. And then we have the incense, sage, and Stanley cup filled with water. Now I'm going to put my beach bag together and we're gonna head off to the beach. <laughs> We made it to the beach. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I got here, this guy, this old man called me a fag. Imagine being in your 50s and having to resort to name calling and just saying things out of pocket like that anyway. Bad luck, my guy. I've been doing this thing lately where when people say something like that to me, I just reframe it. So I just imagined that he said, you're such an amazing young man. I hope you have a wonderful day at the beach instead of what he actually said because you're not gonna get me. You're not going to affect me. Anyway, I'm going to set up and probably journal and relax. All right, we're done with the beach. I'm gonna head over to this place called Follow Your Heart. It's a market and cafe and also sort of like a spiritual shop. So I'm gonna head over there. I will see you guys when we get there. We're stopping to get a car wash and I just stopped to look at the Santa Monica Mountains because the views are gorgeous and you deserve to see the views. Okay, let's go get a car wash. Let's do it. So that was follow your heart. We got lunch. The checkout situation was so awkward and weird because I went to go check out and there was like 10 people in line because one of their check stands went down. I guess the card reader wasn't working or something. So we all had to wait while they tried to figure that out. And we just stood there in line and this chocolate croissant was eyeing me. Do you see this? This looks delicious and I need to try it. This is delicious and it has chocolate on the inside. That is so flaky and delicious, and I'm making an absolute mess. I'm gonna save the rest for later. Next, we have this vegetable inari, and then we have a slice of vegan tiramisu, and we have a fork. Let's dig in. It's gorgeous and beautiful and stunning. I don't have any idea what's inside of it, and I don't care. I'm pretty sure that the car next to me watched the entire first clip of this car session where I spilled the chocolate croissant all over me and made a mess with powdered sugar. Pretty sure they got to see that. It was giving, oh, I'm watching an influencer in the wild. It is what it is. This is very yummy. Feels very fresh and light and healthy. Mmm, I just a cute little snack. I'm excited, I'm gonna finish these. All right, the Inari was delicious. Now we're gonna move on to the tiramisu, if I can open it. It's open. I had to do it off camera, sorry. That's what she's looking like. Yum. I love tiramisu. Love it. And this is delicious. It is a little more cocoa, chocolatey than I'm used to. But it is really good and it is vegan. I love Follow Your Heart. Go check out Follow Your Heart if you live in LA. Also, you don't have to like vegan food to like the food here. 
I don't really have like a strict diet. I kind of eat whatever I want. But sometimes I really like to eat vegan food just because it tastes really good. And I was vegan vegetarian for like a while, but now I just kind of eat what I want. Sometimes I do go back to vegan food though, just because it's really good. There's also this restaurant in Melrose and in Calabasas and maybe one other spot, Las Vegas, I think, called Crossroads, which I think is Travis Barker's restaurant, but they have some really amazing vegan food and I've been dying to go back. They have really good vegan pizza and they just have other really good vegan food. I've been really wanting to go back, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that, you and I. Maybe we'll do that. Tiramisu is done. We're gonna head across the street to a place called Rock Paradise. I'm looking for an evil eye necklace and I'm also looking for maybe a new tarot deck or oracle deck. Let's head over there. I love that place so much. Isn't it so pretty in there and so well decorated? I could just stand in there and stay in there for hours. And I kind of did because I only went in for the evil eye necklace and the new oracle cards or tarot cards, which I did get angel answers, but I also got some crystals and some incense and some cedar. We're filled to the brim. I love Rock Paradise. Check out Rock Paradise too. If you're going to follow your heart, you might as well go right across the street to Rock Paradise as well. We're heading back to the apartment now. This has been a really long day, but I will see you when we get home to properly end this video. Guys, a black cat just crossed by me. I was about to turn on my car and leave and a black cat crossed by me. And every single time that happens, I'll go to get out my phone and I can never record the cat. So you just have to take my word for it. But that was an ancestor. That was a spirit guide passing through, saying hello, letting me know that I'm protected and blessed. <sighs> We're back, baby. We're back. made it back to the apartment. The chocolate croissant is even better at home when it's like softer. And I can eat it over the sink so I don't make a mess. I had such an amazing day with you all. Thank you so much for coming along. Sending you so much love always. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and I will see you next time. Peace.